All right, guys, what is going on? It's your least favorite moto vlogger, Brian636, coming to you with a long overdue tutorial. We haven't done a tutorial on this channel in almost a full year. This is my first tutorial I'm going to be doing uh, involving a dirt bike or a supermoto or anything like that because I'm going to classify them as one and the same. They're, you know, single cylinder motor. Today we have a 2018 YZ. 450 app. We're going to be teaching you how to wheelie on your dirt bike. We're going to break this down in three easy steps to really get you comfortable on your dirt bike because I promise this is one thing this bike is going to get you quick is comfortable. However, unless you're using this foot brake, that second and third step are going to be rude awakenings because you're going to get thrown off this thing. Now this video can apply to anything from 50s, 125s, 250s, and 454 stroke motors. Sorry about the background noise. We are at a lot day today, so we're going to have a little bit of background noise, but we're going to get a little bit of third person shots and we're going to get into this one. Let's go. How to wheelie a supermoto. The only time people over here drifting is like when I'm trying to film an intro. They're like, <laughs> that's our background noise, people. I swear it only happens when we're trying to vlog. What do you guys think? How to wheelie a dirt bike? It's hard to say. I've learned on a dirt bike before that. anything. So. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the dirt bikes are so easy because you just, you crack the throttle and it'll get up so anyone can get comfortable with it quick. You need like better throttle control. Throttle control, yeah. I feel like the side by side on a dirt bike can get really fucking wild. Yeah, yes. So guys, I don't even know if I remember how to do this. God, I haven't done a tutorial video in so long, but I have always liked the first person view tutorial like this. It lets you see the controls very easy, and it gives you me real time talking to you as I'm doing stuff. Now, since we are on a street bike channel, I will tell you these are a lot different than street bikes in the aspect of the power band and how uh, sensitive the throttle is, of course. But if you have balance point on a street bike, you're probably gonna have it on a, on a dirt bike pretty well. I just thought it would be helpful to do something like a dirt bike just because so many people do start their motorcycle adventures on dirt bikes. And what is more of an adventure than learning how to properly wheelie your motorcycle in a safe way in a closed off area where you're not endangering others when you're learning. So guys, I'm really fortunate that this one's got electric start, thank God. If not, kickstart. So like I said, we're gonna break this down in three easy steps for you guys. And that is below balance point, balance point, and past balance point. Now I hope if you're clicking and watching a video that shows you how to wheelie a motorcycle, you already know how to ride one fairly well and you're confident in how that bike's throttle and brakes really react, whether it's full throttle or full braking or whatever, you're comfortable on your motorcycle. So guys, we're gonna start doing just below balance point type of stuff. And that is just first and foremost, getting comfortable with just getting on the throttle like that and letting that front tire lift up just a little bit. If the motorcycle has the power to lift up the front tire, God bless, if not, pull up a little bit. These are dirt bikes, they're probably gonna pull right up. So once again, we're just gonna roll on the throttle here. And we're just getting used to that front tire coming off the ground, period, before we even get into below the balance point type of stuff. Now, once you've gotten comfortable with that front suspension kind of relieving pressure on that front tire, start popping the clutch a little bit very slowly work watch how little i'm working this throttle when it comes up it's just uh like that it's barely cracking that throttle i'm telling you once again come in drop the clutch just like that and it's okay to roll out the wheelie like that you're not trying to go right back to balance point right away go slow you don't want to end up looping your dirt bike that i'm sure you worked hard for or your parents worked hard for or maybe you got it for your christmas day present i don't know you know it's a couple days after christmas it is a couple days after christmas the lakes is still frozen over i'm out here freezing my ass off making these videos so one more time we'll come in and we'll just drop the clutch nice and easy just get the front tire barely off the ground and roll into the gas now it's okay to be there for a full lot day, a full lot week, and just work on getting comfortable with being on just that back tire. Now dirt bikes, and I should say knobbies even more so, you're gonna have the back and forth movement, the left and right movement, when you're up on one wheel. This is something that I believe motorcycles in that aspect are easier to wheelie in dirt bikes just because they have a wider tire and you don't get the left and right, the swervies when you're up on one. But once you embrace them on a dirt bike, you're gonna love them. You're dropping your clutch, you're below balance point, you're able to ride a wheelie, but now you gotta get the balance point. And this is where working that foot brake comes in handy. If you're not doing it and you're at balance point, believe me, you are a ticking time bomb. It's gonna happen, you're gonna flip if you don't understand how to use that rear brake. <laughs> oh, 
pop. Thank you for that rev limiter brake. So just like before, we're gonna pop the clutch, but we're just gonna come a little bit farther back. And we're not gonna be on that rear brake until I say so. You're not riding the rear brakes. There, we're barely on it now. So once again, we'll pop it up. Not on the rear brake, there we are, we're on it. We're just gonna tap, 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 tap. Notice when it comes a little bit past balance point there, and you'll know what balance point is, it's kind of that weightless feeling. We're just gonna tap that foot brake. Just a, a light little tap, tap, tap. Freeze, mister! Big toe. Do that one more time. I'll go to knee knocker so you can see my foot moving. Tap, 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 tap. It's not, it's not much, man. Your foot's barely moving and it's not a lot of pressure. Look at all these cool bikes out here. Wearing it a lot with this many people might not be the best idea. It's kind of crowded. All right, guys, where were we before we were distracted by burnouts and stoppies by a bunch of other clowns? We we're at step number two, balance point. And yes, I know a couple other channels have done this, but I just figured since I did have so many people asking for another tutorial in the comments for the past year, ever since I haven't made one, and there being so many fans of the supermotos on the channel now, that we should probably do a how to wheelie on a, on a dirt bike. Or a supermodel, same thing. Since this channel has helped so many other people learn how to wheelie, I thought it would be a great video to bring to you guys, especially in the cold, because I don't like riding streets when it's this cold. I've already got my latex on. So one more time, we'll do step number two, balance point. Remember, we're gonna be working that rear brake at balance point, people. Uh, notice how we're not gassing, gassing, we're steady on the gas. That's it. I mean, you're getting used to how that rear brake makes that bike act when on a wheelie. And even if it means riding around on two wheels and looking like an idiot and feeling how that rear brake actually, you know, slows down that bike, feeling how powerful of a rear brake you really have, then so be it. It is what it is. You need to be comfortable with that before you move on to step number three, and that is past balance point. This is when stuff like the clutch is going to come into handy, stuff like the brake is really going to come into handy, stuff like swerving, scraping, all, all that type of stuff really comes in to play is at or past balance point. So past balance point, you'll notice you'll be able to get all the way off the gas and you'll still be on a wheelie. So there's balance point. There's a little bit past pulling the clutch and we can just sit right at balance point. I feel like that's, that's probably the best way to to show you is just pull in the clutch and sit there. And we're barely riding on that rear brake. Don't pull in the clutch and expect not to be on that brake just a tiny bit. Balance point right there, a little bit past. Barely on the rear. Remember, when you pull in that clutch, you're getting rid of all that engine brake. And believe me, these big 450s, 250s, whatever, the dirt bikes, single cylinders, have a lot of engine brake, they do. So when you pull in that clutch, you're getting rid of it. And what does that do? It holds the bike at balance point. You don't have to be on that foot brake as much. So when you pull in that clutch, you're gonna have to work that foot brake just a little bit more. Do this past balance point thing one more time before we get into scraping and stuff like that. Come right back here, get rid of the engine brake, and just coast. And see if we can touch the tail. Go so far back, you touch the tail. Come back, pull in the clutch, just keep coming, and there it is. And yeah, when you come back and pull in the clutch, you can do a little boom, boom. You know, do a rev limiter if you really want. So guys, it really is just working this foot brake, working that clutch, and keeping consistent on the throttle, because the throttle on these dirt bikes is a lot more sensitive than your regular motorcycle is. Well, guys, I know this is not a long video, and I really don't want to overcomplicate it, just because so many people do learn how to wheelie and how to really get comfortable on their motorcycle on a dirt bike. So I'm not going to overly complicate this one. Make sure you get comfortable using this foot brake when it goes past balance point. That's the only thing that's going to bring the bike back down is that rear brake. Get comfortable using this clutch to get rid of that engine brake. And yeah, you do need to learn throttle control. So take your time. This isn't something that's going to happen overnight. Get somewhere like a parking lot, a grass field for all the dirt bike guys. Whatever, somewhere that you're not going to be putting others in danger. Yes, you, you yourself could get hurt. Your bike could get a little hurt, you know, learning how to wheelie. But at the end of the day, it's a skill that is really transferable over to a, 
pretty much every motorcycle once you learn it. Guys, I hope to do a lot more tutorials in the future. Please drop below what tutorials you guys want to see next. You know, stoppies, burnouts, anything like that on the supermoto or the dirt bike I can do, I will do. More stuff on the Grom, I got you. More stuff on the street bike, I got you. More stuff on the Harley, let's, let's do it. Um, make sure to drop those comments down below of what you guys have struggled with learning and or are learning right now. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas with your family this year. 2020 is almost over. Let's do it together. If you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a big fat like. If it helped you, make sure to leave it down in the comments. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Here's your least favorite moto vlogger, Brian636, getting out of here for the day. I love you guys. Peace.